Well, good morning to you. I'm meteorologist Caroline Carithers with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with your Thursday morning tropical update. We have a lot to catch you up on, a lot going on in the tropics. The good news is no current threats to our stretch of the Gulf Coast, but there is a lot going on. So let's go ahead and start with the newest information from the National Hurricane Center. Tropical Depression 14 has formed off the coast of Africa. Now, this is a tropical wave that we've been tracking for about a week now, and it has emerged off the coast of Africa. It had a high chance for development, and it did just that. Max winds now at 35 miles per hour here. The latest track from the National Hurricane Kane Center does have this becoming a tropical storm later on tonight. The next name on the list is Margot, and this is going to continue as a tropical storm through the first half of the weekend, becoming a possible category one hurricane moving into late in the weekend. This is forecast to stay in the Atlantic, no threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Moving on to a powerhouse of a hurricane. This is Hurricane Lee, now category two, undergoing rapid intensification here. So max winds the 4 a.m. update, 80 miles per hour. 10 a.m. update, 105 miles per hour. This is really starting to develop that textbook hurricane structure. The really, really intense eye starting to develop there. A really solid center of circulation. So this is a powerful and dangerous hurricane. National Hurricane Center now has this becoming a Category 4 later on this evening. A possible 5 by moving into Saturday morning. So right now they are forecasting wind speeds of up to 160 miles per hour. That is a Category 5 hurricane. The good news is the National Hurricane Center and forecast models continue to take this north of the Caribbean, keeping it in the Atlantic, and early models do indicate that curve northward. So long term, as far as impacts in the United States, the possible East Coast, that's something that we're watching closely for, but as far as our area, it does not look like it will be a threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast, but of course, we'll keep an eye on it for you. We're also tracking what's left of Franklin. Poor Franklin is really holding on for dear life up there near Spain and Portugal. This will likely fizzle wide tonight. Obviously not a threat to our stretch of the Gulf Coast. Probably not going to redevelop at this point. Now, if you do have any questions or want an update, you can head to WKRG.com. The Hurricane Map Room is always open. It has the latest graphics, the latest video, everything you need to know.